I'm Kathleen Rogers, and this is my home. Yep. It's the Jarvis Homestead, and we've owned it for 18, 19 years, and fixed it up, <laughs> renovated it. And you'd begun mentioning the condition of the house when you first purchased the property? It's deplorable. Good. So it hadn't been kept up at all? Nothing. I mean, not, not even the most minor repairs. I can show you before pictures. Oh, okay. Um, it was, uh, hadn't been painted in more than 50 years, and six children had lived here and were kind of wild yeah. things. I mean, nice huh. kids, but yeah. wild things. Sure. And the parents didn't have much, you know, they, much rain over yeah. them. Um, when was it added to the National Registry? Uh, I think that was around 2002. Yeah. Yeah, yeah but, I, I, I did but, that. Yeah, no, I understand. Yeah. Yeah. But they, they didn't, but I think it was on the um, Ellsworth National Register, mm -hmm. or Ellsworth Local Register, yeah. whatever. Sure, sure. <laughs> and how long have you owned the property? For 19 years. Yeah. And this is my friend Jane. <laughs> Who would rather not be recorded? This is important. This is important because George Nixon Black, who was Colonel Black's son, he doesn't really have anything to do with this house per se. Yeah. Well, he doesn't, but the Woodlawn connection is important. Yeah. And well, the Woodlawn, his aunt lived here. This was, I mean, his uh, yeah, his father's sister. This she was Marianne that, that owned this house, mm -hmm. so he certainly visited here yeah. and was here as a child. But he didn't have anything particularly to do with John Baxter or Cheney or yeah. any of that. But yeah. um, he was a 14-year-old boy at the time that that happened. Yeah. But, it, it, but the, Ellsworth, the violence in Ellsworth was not purely contained to that one night. It went on yeah. for years and took many different forms. There are some fires frequently here. Yeah, the church itself yeah. was burned two years in 56, yeah. even though there was an attempt yeah. In in uh, July of '54, and the yeah. chapel or the former mm -hmm. uh, school, the school was itself blown up pretty much in in, 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 June, in June of '54. Blown up? Uh, yeah. Yep, yep. They, they put explosives. Wow. They and, tried to blow it up. And and then within a month, there was the attempt to 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 do the church, and but there was a keg of tar. Uh, there's a keg with different incendiary items, and a fire broke out late on a Saturday night, but a fellow had recognized it and they were able to get it extinguished. But this is all, let's try to say tonight, a part of what was going on in Maine, indeed New England and the nation at that time. For example, in Bath, uh, there, was a, there was another, there was a, literally a burning of the meeting house which was being used by the Catholic community there. Uh, and uh, two years after that in Lewiston, and so, uh, and, and down in, Bo in the Boston area. So, it, it, it's been a subject that I've been very much interested in in the national way, but the Ellsworth episode has so many of the general elements, and to my mind, the connection between Cheney and Baps provides a very personal focus that's interesting. So it, it's, it's kind of an interesting thing, I, I believe, and I'm hoping the University of Maine Press is going to feel that way. And, uh, what exactly is... Uh, I'm, I'm a Protestant, but I'm from the Congregationalist down in Wood, uh, Westbrook in okay. Portland. Mm -hmm. but, um, but uh, in history, I was kind of interested in the development of nativism uh, in the 19th century. That is the interplay between immigration, the federal government, and politics, and society. And when I came back from Ohio, I went to Northwestern, I got my advanced degrees, but I was teaching there and I came back to Portland. I wanted to get involved in it, so I started looking in the, uh, the Maine Historical Society in Portland and I started seeing excerpts in the Portland paper about this episode up in Ellsworth, so I started to follow this in. That's amazing. And, 